Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm getting my flour and my rice ready for storage. Here is two bags of 45 pound each flour and a five pound bag of rice. And here are all my nice clean half gallon jars. Now the flour is not going to fit in all of these. Um, so I'm going to be doing some to go back into the freezer in manageable Ziploc bag size. These are sewn, sh these uh, rice bags are sewn shut with thread like on a potato bag and if you get it just right you can pull that thread and now we have a zippered bag with a handle. So first we're going to deal with our rice here. Now all of my rice and flour have been frozen for several weeks. That's to kill any bug eggs that may be harboring in the flour because if people don't know it there is an acceptable amount of bugs and eggs inside your flour and rice jars or inside the uh, grain packaging. So we do this to kill it. Now we want this right up to the top. Now you can vacuum seal this if you have vac a vacuum sealer. I don't worry about it. it it's never here four jars lids. It's never in my pantry long enough to go bad, especially since it's been frozen. Once it's been frozen, those eggs are all dead. So you can now proceed to put it into jars and put it safe on your pantry shelf. Okay, these are going into the pantry. I have three of these and a quart and a pint. All right, now on to our 45 pound bags of flour. So we're just gonna cut this off the top as cleanly as possible. Like this. We're, we're gonna have a nice heavy bag that you can wrap parcels in inside out or save them to line your raised beds next year as weed barriers. Either way, once this is empty, I'm going to shake it out and put it outside to air and then put it away. Eight, 10, 12 jars here. So let's see how much flour goes into 12 half gallon jars. I also, once it's been frozen, I have a big tub on top of my fridge and I have tins, uh, one gallon, like uh, number 10 size but one gallon tins that I store my flour in and those are the ones I use up first. Tamp it down so that your flour is nice and in there airtight as possible and you're going to want to store this in a cool dim place like a pantry or a closet. I no longer can flour. These jars are not up to the standard for dry heat canning, okay? They're not. Just freeze your flour if you can. If you can't freeze your flour, then you know, you do what you have to do, but it is not recommended that you uh, oven can. But I would if I didn't have the freezer space to do these jars. All right, we'll be back when I have these jars full. Now that our jars are full, and each one of these jars uh, holds approximately three pounds of flour. Now you're gonna see why I bought these Ziploc bags. I bought these Ziploc bags at Costco because I knew I was going to be freezing a lot of flour. The rest of our flour is going into these bags and going back into the freezer. 
always fold your Ziplocs down so you don't get flour in them and make it difficult for you to seal the bags. Howie is cleaning the freezers. They've been emptied, unplugged, and had the ice chopped out of them with a spatula. And now they're getting ready for the rest of the harvest. My little freezer in the porch is going to be for vegetables. My big freezer is going to be for the meat that we have coming. And the one in the pantry is going to be basically bread and butter. That's better. And on the bag, we write AP2022. Rinse and repeat, folks. And these ones in the free, these are going in the freezer and these will be the last to get used. I will use up my, the stuff in my tins and in my jars first. Okay, so we have 90 pounds of flour divided by 23 containers. So each one of these bags and each one of these jars holds approximately 3.9 pounds, almost four pounds of flour. Now I am going to put these in the pantry and these are going into a Costco bag back in the clean freezer. And this is enough flour for us for the winter, if not for the year. And Howie and I are going to take each take a handle and we're gonna put this in the deep freeze. Okay, so between those that 90 pounds of flour, plus I have two cans of flour here that were previously frozen, and I have my big tub on top of my fridge and my bags in the freezer. I have approximately 130 pounds of all-purpose flour stored and ready for the year to come. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, if you're gonna wait for prices to go down, you might be waiting a long time. Please, store what you can. Take care, God bless. Yeah.